What's up, guys? How you doing? Welcome to the All Gen Gamers Podcast. This is episode 127, and we are recording this on Wednesday, January 9th. And let's see here. First of all, I want to say that we are streaming live on our Twitch channel. Of course, the Facebook, the Twitters, the old Tweety Birds, you should be doing that as well. But please feel free, for all of you at home listening, after the fact, to follow us on our Twitch page, twitch.tv slash allgengamers. And you can uh, follow us there for all these fun times that we do here. So uh, once again, I'm Jason. We got Pete Dorn in the house. Pete, how you doing? Pretty good. It's quite the special occasion, episode 127. So we figured we'd live stream. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice. And it's been a while since we did a live stream. When was the last one? 100? <laughs> episode 100, like six months ago. Jeez, so here we are, almost 30 episodes later. Hey, better late than never, right? Yeah, we picked the perfect perfect night to do it as well. We sure because did. We, we are down currently two members of the crew tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So where do we even start, Pete? Because... Well, let's let's first talk about let's first talk about John. And John, you're in the chat. We see him in there. Do- oh, look at him, dog pound, woof woof, represent. But uh, poor John. Uh, but you just got out of surgery. And uh, for most people who don't know, John had an accident. Uh, what he was doing is he was golfing, and he went to swing, and he just threw his arm out completely. No, it doesn't work. No, guess not. No, he fell off a ladder. That sounds a little more tragic. Poor fella. Taking down Christmas lights. You got to get the details, Jason. Yeah, and he hurt himself. And he went to have uh, emergency surgery on his elbow. Just hope you're doing all right, John. Uh, really, man, that's that's some serious stuff there. So a speedy recovery. And, well, you are you said you were at the hospital right now in chat. So now that's, that's love right Right there. after his five-hour surgery. He probably leaned over and was like, give me my phone. Give me my phone. I need to log in. You got a Pandora? <laughs> no, so we hope you get better, John. Dog Pound represent. And then Metal Jesus, Pete. I mean, I don't know. What do you want to say about that? Um, I'm not sure where the hell Metal Jesus is. <laughs> <laughs> he, I think he just forgot that because we usually record at 9 and we're recording at 8.30 tonight. So I think he just forgot that we were recording at 8.30, I'm hoping. Now, on any other occasion, if it was anyone else, namely Pete, if it was you, all I would do is log on to Xbox 360 and catch you playing something and message you like I did before. It's not that easy, though. These days, you'd have to check the Vita. You'd have to check the slight chance I'd be on Steam. Oh, shit. No, you're never on there. Matter of fact... Man, I'm so tempted to log... Hold on, hold on. This is going to be fun. I want everyone... Now, Pete, do not log into Steam. Do not do it. Mm-hmm. I want everyone to guess in the chat. Go ahead, put a number. Put a number of how many days you think Pete Dorr has been offline. It tells me that. So how many days has Pete Dorr been offline on Steam? Put it Put it in the chat, and we're going to take a little um, a guess here, because I'm going to log in and see. And actually... We switched computers here. I think, Pete, that you were on recently. Yeah, to try and... Possibly? I think you were. To try and do something on there. Which, uh, certain game I wanted to play on there that's like all glitched out and it won't run. Oh, there he is. Metal Jesus just came on Skype. So let's bring him in and flick him some shit. Bringing him in hey, now. Hey. There he is. Shit, am I late? You know what? I can't tell you how many times the time zone has screwed me up, too. Oh, man. I thought he was. I, th- I thought Pete was going to be spinning like from 530 to 6. I'm sorry. It's all right. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the show and say hello to all the 96 people that are watching right now. How long has it been going on? About an hour. Yeah. No way. Yeah, we've been here about an hour. <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, I've already done games. We've been playing all that stuff. We pretty much we pretty much wrapped up the show here, <sighs> dude. I've been sitting on the couch watching my wife play games. I'm like, la 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 la. I got a podcast night. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. We just started. We've been here for like five minutes, probably. <sighs> Is there anybody on mine? Yeah, ninety six people. Oh, okay. Hey, we're live hey. right now. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, how's it going, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and what we're doing is. Um, we were just talking about John, and he's in the chat from the hospital bed. 
What? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> wow, that's technology right there. It's it's a lot different from what it used to be. <laughs> that's so funny. So we are wishing him uh, a well recovery. And then what I was doing, what were we even talking about? Steam. Yeah, we were talking about Steam. Oh, yeah, we were talking about if Pete wasn't online, I would log on to Xbox and just tell him, hey, get your ass online. Because he'd usually be there. But then he's like, no, no, you got to check Vita. You got to check all these other places. <laughs> and I thought, then he said, well, you got to check Steam. And I'm like, Psh, hell no. Never on Steam. Never on Steam. So and then I said to the chat, I said, everyone put in a guess of how many days you think Pete has been offline on Steam. Because it tells me. Oh, damn, Pete. I just saw it. You must have... Oh, man. You must have been... <laughs> you sneaky. He's sneaky. Seriously, guys, I just want to say... I'm going to tell you the number, and it's going to be so stupid. But he has been like 90 days, 80 days. You know, he's been offline a long time. The, the man has a lot of distractions, though. You he know? does. He does. Yeah. Well, last online nine days ago... <laughs> Yeah, I was boom, trying to boom, play boom. some damn Legends of Grimrock. And oh. this shit is like all glitched out and it won't run. So, I'm Dude, about that. That game is hard as hell. I started playing that yesterday. Wow. Oh, I love that game, though. I love the puzzles in that game. And I usually don't like puzzles in my RPGs and stuff. But, damn, I love finding the hidden secrets in that game. I get stuck about every 10 minutes. And it's, it, it's not a... You know, that's not a commentary on the game. The game is actually a lot of fun, but I just suck at those puzzles because to me, they're so illogical. Like, I don't know why you would build a room that has a pressure plate on the floor. And if you stand on it, it doesn't open. But yet one of the bricks is is slightly changed and it's around Hell the corner yeah. from that. Hell yeah. <laughs> My brain does not work that way. I'm like, what? What is? No. Why am I so stuck? I, I'm, I'm, I feel so stupid playing the game, but it is a lot of fun, though. Actually, it reminds me of the classic like Baldur's, uh, not Baldur's Gate, uh, uh, Eye of the Beholder and all those classic PC games that I used to suck at, too. But See, really I never really played those until recently. Like, I, I was never, well, I shouldn't say I was never into it. I just never tried those style of RPGs, mm -hmm. the sort of first person, like, Dungeon Master games, until I played Legends of Grimrock, and, like, it just opened up a whole nother world to me. And I, I fell in love with it, to be honest. Like, I, I absolutely loved it. And I picked up a few of the, like, I picked up I, the Beholder on Sig CD. Which has music by Yuzo Kashiro, by the way, for those in chat that like his music. Um, I bought on good old games. I picked up um, what is it? Leg uh, what is that series called? You know what oh, I'm thinking? Metal Jesus. Uh, Lands of Lore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I watched some videos on that, and I'm like, wow, this game has pretty awesome voice acting. <laughs> oh yeah, so I've been, I've been wanting to get into right? that. It Does has, it? Uh, yeah, it's got Captain Card. I think he yeah, is. So oh, go ahead. I was going to say, so I'm going to probably get into those sometime in the future. Because mm. ah, when I was playing Legends of Grimrock, my computer freaking crashed. So I was logging in the Steam to see if my save got saved to like the Steam Cloud or something, which I'm not sure about, which I'm hoping it did. If not, I'd probably just start a new game. Now, uh, I, so you guys have only been talking for about five, five or ten minutes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, then this leads perfectly up to uh, a game that I'm actually really glad that you mentioned, Pete, and that is the room on the iPad and iPhone, because mm -hmm. that, that's my kind of puzzle game. I loved that game. It's top, you know, from beginning to end, it was just so killer. You didn't like Super Hexagon, though. <laughs> <laughs> And I can you, tell you that based on your score in that game, Metal Jesus. Well, okay. It depends on when you looked at the score, because you sent me the challenge, uh, the, the game room challenge, and it showed up on my iPad this afternoon, and, and, the, and I saw your time. I was like, oh, my God, are you kidding me? So I was feeling kind of pathetic. Um, I was feel, you know, I, the, the, a challenge was sent, and so I've, I've actually gotten quite a bit further. So I think my time was 18 seconds, and I increased that to, like, 34 or... 35 seconds and that's a long time in that game it's hard as hell oh, the thing i love about super hexagon is the way it tricks your mind because you start playing that game and for those that don't know just look up a video on youtube super hexagon ios and you can see what the hell we're talking about we talked about it last episode but uh 
you start that game off and it's extremely difficult, but then the more and more you play it and you get into the later levels, you, I went back to that first level and that shit was slow as hell. It was almost like, oh my like, damn, this is easy. But when you first start playing it, like you have a hard time lasting 10 seconds. Oh, right? it's yeah. just a game where you just, the more you play, the better you get and it shows. Yeah, well, to give you an idea, I mean, the, the to go up a level in that game, I think the first stage is what, 20 seconds? The next one's, or maybe it's 10 seconds. It goes every 10 seconds. When you last for a minute, you've technically beaten the level. and um, But you can keep going for as long as you want. But once you get a minute, you've really beat the stage. And I've I beat the first and second stages. I'm on the third stage now. Make sure to follow us, the All Gen Gamers podcast, on Facebook and Twitter. Subscribe to us on YouTube and in iTunes. And don't forget about those iTunes ratings, guys. We appreciate those. And for all other info, links, and our forum, please visit www.allgengamers.com.